Hey guys, how's it going? So, today's review is going to be on the Throw Revolution Zephyr. So if you guys follow my Instagram, and if you don't, there's my Instagram account there. Basically, I've posted about this yo-yo once or twice. It was my today's throw for a couple of days or something, and I really, really enjoyed this yo-yo, so I thought I should totally make a review about it. So a brief introduction to the Zephyr. So I actually had a chance to try the Zephyr in its prototype phase while I was in Singapore. Basically, Marcus rocked up the spin works, and you know, he let me try out some of his stuff, and basically it was pretty badass. If you guys want to see it in action, um, Kendrick has made an awesome YouTube video that you can check out there, and there's also um, a girl named Tran who posts quite regularly on Instagram, and she's done a few videos with the Zephyr as well. Both those players are on Throw Revolution, and if you guys want to check it out, they do a lot of awesome tricks. Anyway, before we get into my opinion on it, let's check out the Zephyr's specifications. Diameter. 56 millimeters, weight 65.7, width 43.90 millimeters, gap width 4.9 millimeters, um, and bearing size size C. And mine came stock with a Diffio concave bearing. Okay, so this is a close up look of the Throw Revolution Zephyr. As you can see here, it's got a very angular shape, which is really good for horizontal type tricks. And it's also got a really nice glossy finish. The body material is made from 6061 aluminium, which is the cheaper end aluminium. It would make sense considering it's a budget yo-yo. It comes with a very metallic, glossy kind of finish, which I think looks really, really awesome. The color in this yo-yo is really, really vivid. So put it into perspective, this is my yo-yo factory superstar. Right, and this was a really vibrant um, anodized yo yo when I first got it, but that's how like the Zephyr looks compared to that. As you can see, the color is really dark and rich, and it looks pretty nice. Uh, the Zephyr comes stock with a Diffio concave bearing, it spins for quite a long time, and it comes with a five millimeter axle. I'm not too sure what the pads are, but I'm guessing it's um. It's a red gasket silicone of some kind that um, Marcus would probably be using, considering it's quite a grabby yo-yo at first. So the Throw Revolution Zephyr weighs in at 65.7 grams, which is pretty much, you know, it's on the light side of things, but it's generally average for a yo-yo built in today's kind of environment. One thing I've noticed about the Zephyr's weight is that its weight distribution is absolutely perfect. It's phenomenal. This yo-yo plays like a really extremely powerful bimetal yo-yo, and as you can see here, there are no metal rings, it's just pure weight distribution. It kind of goes back to the whole argument that the whole bimetal thing is kind of pointless because, you know, mono metals can actually have the exact same effect if they get the weight distribution right. Um, I think the Zephyr really proves that point, and if you try one, you immediately realize like how balanced the weight distribution is. It's got enough rim weight so it spins really long time. It's also got enough weight so it's a relatively stable yo-yo and it's centered just enough so it can do horizontal tricks with ease. The weight distribution is absolutely perfect on the Zephyr. In terms of playability, the Zephyr is a really, really solid yo-yo. As I said, it can do the intricate kind of textile tricks that, you know, Kendrick would like to do, and it can also do the simplified, super speedy tricks that, you know, Marcus likes to do or plays like me likes to do. It's a very, very competition-driven yo-yo. Generally, if I were to define it, it's very, it's very, very smooth on the string. It's very fast, and it's also very, very stable. Um, my one gripe about the Zephyr is that it is a little bit grabby at first. Now this was quite a surprise to me, considering its gap width, it's 4.9 millimeters. That's almost five millimeters. And in like the world of yo-yoing, that is a pretty large gap. And even then, the Zephyr was pretty grabby when I first got it. I think it has something to do with the pads and the fact that I use really um, thick blueprint strings as well. But other than that, it is a really, really awesome yo-yo. One thing I'd like to point out, the glossy finish doesn't make it the best for grinds. Um, I don't really grind on this, I don't really grind with this yo-yo very much, generally because the finish doesn't really allow for a wide scope of grinds. Um, it can do some horizontal finger grinds, but this um, laser engraving here hinders you a little bit. It's still possible, but it will generally last, you know, on an average kind of time. There's nothing phenomenal about the Zephyr's ability to do horizontal finger grinds. So, 
Final thoughts on the Zephyr. I think the Zephyr is a solid, solid yo-yo. Okay, it's probably one of the favorite yo-yos in my collection at the moment. The weight distribution is perfect, it's very stable, it spins for a really long time, it can go fast, it can handle speed tricks, and it can also handle horizontal tricks. It's a really, really good yo-yo. Not too great for grinds, and it's a little bit grabby at first, but after you wear on the pads, all of that kind of fades into insignificance. One other thing I'd like to mention is that it's also designed to be a budget metal. Um, the price of the Zephyr isn't too crazy. I think it's like $60 to $50, something like that. Very affordable, really awesome yo-yo. I definitely recommend it. If you want to step up your game and you want to get into the extreme horizontal speedy types of tricks and you don't want to spend $100, $150, $200 on like a super buy metal, my recommendation would be get a Zephyr. It's the closest thing you can get in the model metal range. It's really affordable, really awesome. Definitely recommend. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the Zephyr. Any comments, criticisms, questions, suggestions for yo-yos I should review, post them down below, and I will see you guys next time.